I'm from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our weekly Chica Chica. Chica. So you wouldn't believe how many takes it actually takes. <laughs> so we're back to our Chica Chica. That we had an interesting time getting back. That uh, To give you we updates. Got, yeah, we're going to go through a list that a lot of these channels, a lot of these advisors talk about going through a list and we get enough ground to cover that we tend to rattle on a little too long as it is. So we're going to hit bullet points so you'll see us looking down at the phone periodically. Yep. But we got back five days apart. Yes. So I got back on August 17 and you got back on August 23rd, 22nd. Yep. It's a long flight. <laughs> I know. But I had actually moved up my date because I was supposed to come back on like the 28th or so. But you had your? Citizen interview. That was on the 26th. But prior to that, my third year at work anniversary was on the 23rd. That's right. I got back on a Thursday night. Yeah. You almost stayed home, but decided to go in. Yeah. And it actually kind of worked out really well because... My office mate decorated my day. Das and I have some welcome, you know, just fun stuff that made my day. <laughs> I'll put the, pictures in that. Grab my pictures. I've got some pictures. I'll throw. I'll throw on this one. That, yeah. Uh, that was really cool and, and definitely made you feel a lot more appreciated at work. I feel valued and special and appreciated. And then you had Monday off anyhow, so we could go to the. U.S. citizen, my U.S. citizenship interview. Slash, <laughs> it's actually also my uh, removal of condition um, interview. I did not, or we did not expect. Yeah, we didn't expect that. We would got a letter that they were not going to process it. It's only for the U.S. citizen interview, and only to realize, like, I got so paranoid, I got so panicked that day, unless what took them so long remember that yeah because they they were probably about 40 minutes late getting yeah. us in there which yeah. which is unusual for me i've been for the past you know when we went to us uh C U S C I S, it's always been on time or it's always been early yeah it's one of the few government offices that actually does run quick in person their paperwork yeah that no <laughs> they're okay i will say it's um it's still a time record, you know, it's still fast for, for my case, you know. Now, your citizenship came back in less than a year. Yep, that's correct. That wasn't too bad. Yep, that's correct. Your green card technically wasn't even ready to be processed still yet, so that was two years. Yeah, so, like, they combined the interview, so I'm glad that John is with me. Just yeah, because I almost off. didn't come back. Yeah, because your original flight is on August 28th, and you asked me, do you want me to I'll go home? And I'm hesitant on that, but I said, I want you to go home because I want your support. And then we found out it was going to cost me more than the original ticket cost to move the date. Yeah. And we talked about it again, and, and said, yeah, yeah. Know, let's just go for it. It's, it's worth it, and I'm just grateful that you came back. Um, to join and be there for my interview but overall yeah because they let me in the first part of the interview when they did the uh, removal of conditions to verify we were still married and all that yeah and then when they did the citizenship interview they kicked me out I said, bye <laughs> i was escorted out of the office so <laughs> so but overall um i passed so i passed the removal condition interview we passed and the team uh, and the citizenship that everything was go was a good to go on that one and they weren't able to give her the oath taking the date or approval yeah for my citizenship because they want to do and approve first the removal of conditions it was like all it was, it was kind of a cluster but yeah they need it to all worked out in the end. yeah i didn't need to fix my name because it was like cindy Carilio, Carilio Row, because I have, it was like a long name in there. I have Cindy de la Cruz, Carilio 
grow and then it was just all the system was just you know yeah it was kind of it's interesting. interesting and it took like a while for the uh officer to just change and update everything while i'm there so that when i will do my oath taking it was all fixed and it's all corrected. yeah i was getting concerned because uh after they they escorted me out that it was almost an hour oh yeah i feel like it it's the longest i'm like the interview only took less than two minutes yeah because i i understood this was a fairly quick process and then when it got to be half an hour i would get a little concerned by the hour mark i was getting kind of nervous just like the, the reason being is they need to the system has they have issues with the system it's so slow so they need to like wait for like the timing that they need to submit the approval for a removal condition before they can start in the u.s citizenship interview questions and after that so it's just like all timing and then fixing my name and you know but overall i'm just grateful i passed i have study hard yeah because on that wednesday you got your the electronic copy of the approval yeah and then and like thursday or friday you got I the electronic copy of the and, um, the oath date and then on saturday they mailed the green card to her i know that's so just, she got her 10-year green card after it's just all. interesting like huh i didn't realize this it's just interesting and then i was just so happy because i didn't expect um so after that two year uh two years two days after the interview is my um class started and that's my last class i'm working on it so i have seven or six more weeks to go yeah about six more weeks to go and it is finished finally yeah so yeah i just need to take a deep breath go on and the last leg and last we did stretch. A year and a half of this. You can do the last six weeks, no problem. Two, actually, two years and a half for all hmm. the masters. I thought it was less than that. No, it's I started May of two thousand seventeen, and I finished it um, October two thousand nineteen. So wow. yeah, two years. <laughs> Anyways, you never realize yeah. how much the sacrifices you made. Yeah, it's been it's been a while. I know that. Yep, it I thought is. it was a little bit less now. It is, and then um, no, or November, September third. What was that? We celebrated my birthday, <laughs> and then also we celebrated the Labor Day and uh, my birthday. We actually celebrated on the second. That's yes. why she was a little bit confused. So we have like Cajun <laughs> theme, yeah. A good friend of ours that you see him in several of the videos that uh, Rick did, he did a Cajun themed birthday yeah. for, for that me. we had uh, shrimp, we had uh, deep fried catfish, we had... Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of, yeah, Ati Marlene bringing some Japanese noodles. Um, we... Yeah, we have like a lot. Yeah, because we had two other couples over. Yeah, so Ati Jane also came over, brain cake, and you know, it was it was a really It was cool. a really cool day, and everybody enjoyed. Yeah, and then and I go to work on my birthday, because, um, yeah, my boss went to PTO, and my other partner went to PTO, so I'm only left. <laughs> <laughs> it's a top Wednesday for my birthday, I mean, Tuesday for my birthday, but it's okay. Yeah, but you had a back-to-back -back three day weekends yeah and and then um yeah this okay. is the first week first week yeah this is the first weekend you didn't have a three-day weekend but actually but then I will go next weekend we got another three-day weekend yeah because friday is my oath of si taking ceremony yeah it's been a while to get back into this so i forgot to plug in the microphone and i need to go double check to make sure the camera's mics actually did pick everything up, so you're probably going to hear a little bit of a sound difference from this point on. That Friday's going to be her oath-taking, and yes, there's going to be plenty of video on that one. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure where I can and can't start taking video, because it's at the U.S. Federal Courthouse. Yeah, it should be after. Or I think I can take it in the room during, but I'm not so sure about before, after, going up to the building, all that good rot, but... 
And we're going to have several friends there that uh, at least two fill-in couples I know are going to be showing up. Uh, Rick's going to be showing up. My sister's going to be there for the... My sister Carolyn from Casa Grande is going to be there for the oath-taking. Yeah. And my sister Janice from Washington will be there for your graduation. Yep. Yeah. Interesting. I like it. And the other people that may be there for the graduation are... My parents. Hopefully. We're praying for their visa approval. So they're having their interview this coming September 25th. Yeah, on the 25th they're going to get interviewed. And as I understand, they'll know whether or not they get approved that day. Yeah. And your graduation's on the 17th of October? Yep. So we're going to need to hustle and get tickets and get their visa stamp in there so they can go. Yeah. Uh, because uh, if they make it, we're going to do a road trip over to California. We're going to get them nonstop tickets, direct flight from Manila to LAX. California, yeah. And then go over and pick them up. That way they don't have to, to transfer flights or anything like that. That They get on a plane, they get off a plane. They, they, that's it. So, yeah. True. Uh, but yeah, any any uh, viewers that are praying people on the 25th start praying that this goes smoothly. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. Um, overall, like, it's been like so fast. It's like we're trying to catch up, but we're also trying to just like slow down and rest because we just, with a lot of things going on, like from me reviewing on my citizenship and then with my class that is intense plus work and plus um, adding also trying to balance life with going to church and spending time to the close friends you know it's <laughs> I could just like say no I'm gonna do it like oh my god remember like last time I did it like not go to church because I just want to study and focus but well, it's the last leg. I could deal with that. Uh, we, we've also got some personal stuff going on that, that we'll announce later. Yeah. That is adding to a lot of this. And it's going to make the next year interesting, possibly a little stressful, but we'll hugely exciting, too. So. Yep. Yeah, so, but we are just grateful for a lot of things. We're just grateful for the people, um, the support, um, and the family and the friends that we have. And we're thankful mm. for our subscriber and our community that keep watching us even though we're not posting videos. So, we're really sorry about so that. So please do subscribe if you're a new, um, if you are just new subscriber and new viewer. Subscribe, to our click the bell, all that fun yeah, stuff. So, yeah, just hanging there. <laughs> We're hanging in there too. We've got a lot that's definitely coming up. We've got a lot that potentially is coming up. Uh, and we're just going to have to see where. Yeah, we have actually a lot of videos in the Philippines that we did that. Yeah, I've got a bunch of editing to do for the, for the videos in the Philippines. Uh, and I also got a new toy that we talked about it. And we've been toying around the idea, or I've been toying around the idea. I'll be honest with you. I, me. Yeah. Have been toying around the idea for about a year that decided to go for it and get a Mavic Air. Uh, I've got the Mavic Pro and that's great and it does some awesome things but I truly believe in that she finally kind of got on board that the uh, Mavic Air has got a nice little niche that the Pro sure. do doesn't necessarily fill but there again the Pro's got a niche that the Mavic Air can't fill, that they ought to be really good complimentary video, complimentary devices to each other. Yeah. And so you're going to start seeing a little bit more drone footage with that. Uh, it's way more compact, way more more portable to do stuff. So. Yeah. So just stay tuned. We'll be uploading more pictures of our drone. New drone. But for now, Mabuhay! Ma